So I wish I tried this before I bought a CPAP. Obviously, disclaimer here, that's how you know it's gonna be good. Don't change anything you're doing based off an internet video. Even though I have a medical degree, still talk to your doctor. All right, we did that. So this is referring to carbon dioxide or CO2. Now CO2 is very important. We'll get back to that in a moment. But for now, you need to understand one of the drivers of your airway collapsing at night is a slightly faster inhale at night will pull things to the back of your throat, close it off. Thus, this is what I learned, I'll show you how, if you have a slower breath, things will stay open. Now, if you increase the CO2 level slightly with this exercise, that will actually program you to have a slower breath at night. So first time I did this, right before going to bed, slept through the night, first time in a year. So you're taking half the normal inhale through your nose, nice and slow, and then exhaling as slowly as you can, and then just repeating that until you fall asleep. Now, that's just one of my favorite starting points, and what are you gonna do after that? Or what if that doesn't have the same effect for you? That's why having a personalized blueprint is so, so important. To get that, go ahead, press the red button or the shop button, or go to the website over my face, just go ahead and type that in.